So now I want to talk about the triad and the WCS. As you can see, the triad, it's in the lower left corner. Again, this always points to X, Y, Z, absolute coordinate. It basically is just a representation to show you how everything is oriented true to the world. Now we have what's called a work coordinate system in an X, and we don't see it on the screen right now, so I'm gonna go and turn it on. And by default, in a lot of places, you may not have it pop up, so you won't be able to see it, but it's there. It's always there, and it's something that it's very important you understand what it is, but you may not directly use it. So to go turn it on, I'm gonna go under Tools, and under the More Gallery, you'll see I have all these icons for the WCS, or Work Coordinate System. And I'm gonna turn on the display. Currently, the Work Coordinate System is oriented to my absolute, my triad. You can see that X, Y, Z all align. If I double click on this, you'll notice that I can change this. Change the orientation, where it's located. Snap angle is just how much it takes for this thing to snap into the next position. So I have to move at least 45 degrees before it snaps to that new location. If I change this to say five degrees, then now when I change the angle, you'll notice the snap increment is much less, so it snaps. And same thing for the distance, right? I have a distance snap as well. I can come over here and say, I want this to snap to every 10, in this case, millimeters, based off of the size of the file and snap. Now, with this work coordinate system, you're gonna use a basically a dynamic work coordinate system when you create a sketch, when you move components around in an assembly, and it's always there, but it's going to be defined based off of your inputs. So when I go into a sketch, you're going to be defining a plane to draw on. By default, if you don't specify a plane, everything goes to the X, Y. And it's very important that you understand that work coordinate system is driving geometry. You'll see that in pull downs in various locations, some of the tools reference the WCS, or it'll reference a CSIS. A CSIS is basically a saved location of the work coordinate system. You may have multiple datum CSIS saved on your screen, and you can always go back and reference that datum CSIS, whereas the work coordinate system, once again, is just simply a working coordinate system. If I don't pick anything, it'll by default go to that work coordinate system. Now, once I get it into position that I want, I just simply click the middle mouse button. The moment that I click the middle mouse button, it saves that location. By default, in most people's modeling applications when they come in, that's typically just simply turned off. You can see here the display is turned on because I turned it on. A lot of times within the assemblies application, when you create a new assembly, you're bringing data in, it's going to display a WCS for you. Again, it's a work coordinate system. It's going to be based off of the component that you're bringing in. So just something to be aware of. Again, are you going to directly manipulate it in NX12 in the newer product? Probably not. When you get into, let's say you're working with parts that were made five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, 10 years ago, then chances are you're going to have to understand how to manipulate the WCS.